What's up, Gamers Nation? This is your boy Dark Brain from MaddenOxus.com, and welcome to another episode of Madden 25 Ultimate Team, guys. As you can see right here, we're in week seven, guys. You know, we, we need uh, two more wins, you know, so we can get a playoff bird. So, you know, we need to win this one. So, anyways, uh, you know, I've been doing a little series about the Madden 15 ratings, and uh, today, you know, is, a, is gonna be the last, uh, you know, position that we're gonna do. Uh, today we're gonna do the strong safeties and uh, you know uh, pretty much you know this uh, strong safety are the hard hitters you know the defense they're linebackers slash corners slash you know safety that's pretty much everything so anyways uh, we got number one of course is gonna be Cam Chancellor from Seattle Seahawks and uh, you know he's uh, he's a big hitter man I remember when he hit their Marius Thomas in that Super Bowl that was pretty crazy you know he has 97 hit power 85 tackling uh, uh, 84 zone coverage, 85, 84 speed. I'm sorry, and 88 pursuit. So like I said, you know this guy's a big hitter. He's not afraid to hit six, six, four. Uh, I don't know how much he weighs, but you know it's a big guy. You know for a strong safety, you know. And this guy, you know, is a, he's the enforcer of the Seattle Seahawks. So you know you don't want to mess with this guy. Uh, we, uh, number two, we got Troy Palomalo. You know this guy has been aging. You know he hasn't played well, but uh, you know I think he moved back to his natural position ever since they drafted that outside linebacker, you know, uh, Shea Zier. So, you know, Troy Palomo has uh, 88 speed, 92 agility, 91 play recognition, 85 pursuit, and uh, 84 hit power, and 87 spectacular catch. So, you know, this guy, uh, uh, you've seen his interceptions. Uh, he's been doing crazy things, you know, I think he always does that. Uh, you know, jumps over the center uh, before after snap count, and uh, it's pretty crazy, you know. And uh, these guys are pretty good, you know, uh, uh, we've been playing them, I mean the Baltimore Rays have been playing them, you know, for a lot of years and I remember when, uh, you know, Joe Flacco was a rookie, and it was the uh, AFC Championship and, uh, you know, he made Joe Flacco fumble and uh, I was pretty upset, man. so anyways, I don't want to remember that anymore, so right now we're going to go ahead and go with the third place, we got TJ Ward uh, from the Broncos, and, you know, he has uh, 92 hit power, 88 tackle, 86 speed, and, uh, you know, he has... Uh, 80, uh, 86 uh, coverage as well. So you know, T.J. Wards, you know, he's also a good uh, player as well. You know, he used to play with the uh, Cleveland Browns, but you know, he, they lost him. So now he's over with the Denver Broncos. You know, so we'll see what happens because uh, Denver's defense last year was pretty sucky. So uh, we'll see what happens this year. Uh, we got number four, Eric Berry from the Kansas City Chiefs, guys. He has 92 uh, speed, uh, 90 agility. 83 tackle and uh, 88 big hit as well, and 88 coverage, guys. You know, ever since uh, you know the new coach uh, came into Kansas City Chiefs, you know this guy has been playing a high level. You know, I think he was down, you know, the year before with Roman Cornell, but once uh, you know this coach came in, you know he started playing good. You know, the offense started playing good, defense started playing good. I think they went undefeated as well. You know, and. Uh, you know, this guy has been a key of the defense, so, you know, I think Eric Berry should be a little bit more higher, you know, I think he should be in T.J. War spot, or at least Troy Palomano spot as well, you know, because, you know, Eric Berry is a little bit faster than those guys, so. And uh, last but not least, we got uh, Rashad Jones from May the Miami Dolphins, you know, I haven't seen him play. He has 88 hit power, 86 speed, and uh, 79 zone coverage, you know. I haven't seen him play this guy, you know, but I think he's a newcomer for the Miami Dolphins, you know. I think they have been having a good secondary as well. So, you know, hopefully Rashad Jones, you know, can pick uh, the pace uh, because I think Jeremiah Bell used to be there. So I think uh, this guy's going to step in his shoes, you know, and play a little bit better. And I think uh, other people should have been here, you know. I think uh, Dante Whitner should have been here, you know, he's a good player. Uh, who else? Uh, Mark Barron as well should have been in this uh, list as well in the top. Five. At least uh, they removed Rashad Jones and uh, uh, Troy Palomalo because they haven't done nothing in a couple of years. And I think they should have been here. And also been on Pollard as well. Uh, who else? Daniel Manning uh, should have been here as well. You know, as you can see right here, uh, I have him on my team. And he's been playing pretty, uh, pretty good uh, the last games. So, anyways, guys, we're 27 10. Uh, and like I said, we're going to win uh, all these games so we can. Uh, get a playoff bird, you know, and uh, Madden 15 is, uh, I think, uh, four days away, I'm, I'm sorry, six days away, uh, right now it's Wednesday, so, uh, can't wait for Madden, I think my brother's gonna get it uh, anytime soon, I think he's gonna get it on Thursday night, so, you know, I think he was saying in his video that uh, we cannot only use it in six hours in the Xbox One, so, you know, I'm gonna try to get a hold of him and, uh, you know, uh, lab so we can uh, you know get plays for y'all blitzes anything so we can help y'all win tournaments i know the tournaments are going to be coming up so uh, and i think there's going to be a tournament here in my in my town so it's going to be on august 30th at 2 p.m you know we're going to put the uh some videos of it so we'll see what happens 
Anyways, right here we're 27 and 10, guys, and that's pretty much game. You know, I'm just uh, trying to waste the time right here. He has another chance, and uh, right here we get a nice pick by Daniel Manning. Like I said, you know, this guy's been stepping up my defense, so I'm really, I'm pretty happy that I got him. And right here, I'm just gonna run back, you know, so I can waste a little bit more time. So, anyways, uh, you know, I think uh, today they named Brian Hoyer as the Cleveland uh, uh, Cleveland Browns starting quarterback. And that's pretty amazing, you know. I think they should have left it out until the last preseason game, but you know, that's the Cleveland Brown. So you know, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. You know, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. You know, don't forget to like my video, share my video. Uh, also, any questions, guys, go go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Until later, guys. Your boy Dark Ray.